What's up, y'all? It's Functions here with Rough Night Gaming, bringing y'all a little hardpoint game on the map, Hijack. It's a little bit different than the rest of the maps. So I haven't posted a hardpoint gameplay, and I'm using this cool new tactic I kind of came up with myself. I, I don't want to give myself all the credit for it, because it is, I don't know, it is already in the game and stuff, but it's this smokescreen tactic where you use scavenger, and you just kind of smoke out the objective areas, and you just run through the smoke. I mean, it's not, it's really hard to counter with the smokescreen. The only thing that really counters it is the target finder, and I know a lot of faggots use that, and I hate saying faggots, but... I hate kids who use target finders because I, th I feel like that's like the pussy way out of like winning gunfights because it, I don't know, I just don't like it. But the smoke screen it does work out a lot when you run out with some machine guns and I die quite a bit in the beginning because I'm just kind of screwing around. But I end up going 80 and 9 or something like that. It's something ridiculous. I, so I thought that's pretty good. But besides that, I, I hate to talk about something like this because it is such a, a tragedy and it was so it's so close to something that just happened recently. But I was looking through the news today uh, like I do normally and I noticed a shooting another school shooting actually and <laughs> this isn't an exploitation of it I'm just gonna give you all like what happened and then I'm gonna tell you what I think about it so what happened today is over in California I think it's what it says yeah at Taft Union High School in Taft California there was a 16 year old boy who showed up late to class armed with a 12 gauge shotgun and uh, authorities said that he had about 20 rounds in his pocket and intended on killing a lot of kids there at the school and uh, he actually only was able he only had time to uh, shoot one and he shot one kid and the one kid who got shot who was also 16 uh, he's not dead don't worry about it at least not yet from what the article says he was in critical but stable condition and they were able to get to the, get him to the hospital uh, then the, uh, the guy that had the gun he shot another round off and he missed whoever he was aiming for and so and then he stopped shooting and then the teacher and they were talking about how heroic this is and the staff members they actually talked the gunman down they uh, used the conversation as <laughs> kind of a diversion to allow the students to leave the room and the actual teacher it says in the article somewhere that he was actually hit in the head by one of the pellet shots and he was able to successfully talk the gunman down and prevent a huge tragedy from happening and I don't know uh, it sounds it sounds pretty cool of the teacher, but it's also really sad that something like this is happening so soon after what just happened in Newton, uh, Connecticut, I think it was. Yeah, with the elementary school. This is a high school, and we have seen high school shootings in the past, but the intention of this kid was not to just shoot one kid. It was to shoot multiple kids a lot, and kill a lot of people. It wasn't, I mean, he had 20 rounds in his pocket. He wasn't coming in just to, it wasn't just one kid. Uh, along with the one kid who got shot, and the one kid he missed. There were also two girls that were sent to the hospital. Uh, one was sent to the hospital for hearing damage from being too close to the blast range. She said uh, apparently the shotgun blast was really close to her ear and it may have uh, disrupted something in her eardrum or something like that. And then another girl was sent to the hospital with injuries from trying to flee. And I don't that could range anything from breaking a leg, tripping that, breaking an arm, something like that. Anything in that kind of range. So further down in the article it talks about uh, the uh, motivation or the reasons for why this kid decided to <laughs> come into school with a shotgun. And it says somewhere that, uh, what was it? It says that there was a conversation about bullying between the two kids, I guess is what was going on. And if that's the case, uh, I really want to touch on that real quick. But it says there could have been bullying, but it's not confirmed that that was the issue at the point. And it said that there could have been other reasons why the student came in with a shotgun and what his actual intent was. There isn't really a full confirmed article on what the intent of the student was. It's more or less just um, that it, this, this shooting happened. And I'm kind of lost for words right now because it is kind of sad. <laughs> Again, because it happened so close in, in the time frame to when another school shooting had just happened. And it seems like uh, reading in the news lately, there's a lot of shootings going on. And I don't talk about them because I don't feel it, it's something that I should talk about on my channel. But I chose this one because the teacher was kind of a hero. And it, it, it's, it's pretty, it's something I want to talk about because it does mention bullying. And, and getting into bullying, um, I'm not in high school anymore. I'm in college now. I'm a freshman. Uh, I never really had to deal with bullies at all. Uh, during my whole lifetime, I, always, I was always kind of like the the goofy kid that people seem to enjoy and hang out with. So I, I mean, it was like friendly joking around. But there was never really a bully like, hey, give me your lunch money or something like that and I think that TV does a bad job of portraying bullies because you know, like the whole cliche bully is hey kid give me your lunch money blah 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 or something like that and that's not actually what goes on with bullying at all it, it, it's actually like a really deep 
emotional impact that it has on people and it has it it almost has nothing to do with giving somebody your lunch money i don't i don't there needs to be something done with bullying and i don't know uh, what needs to be done but the enforcement needs to be set up or something but i don't know who talked about this but bullies are designed a certain way to just want to bully and people say that to get rid of a bully you just have to leave him alone and then there's the other side of the spectrum that says to get rid of a bully you need to stand up to him and that will gain respect and in both of those scenarios i think that you're left fucked i don't really think either of those answers or uh i guess solutions are not an actual solution to your problem that you're having with bully and i don't really have a good insight on this because i was never bullied as a kid so i can never really i can really tell you but i could maybe spit back information or spit back some words that could maybe I don't know help out I don't I don't really know my I, I, I don't really know what to say about bullying I don't really like it I obviously I don't like it I don't think it's a good thing to do but it's more of like a power imbalance like the big kids in middle school and stuff obviously bully the smaller kids but I like they bully the nerds and stuff and I I don't know what exactly causes someone to want to bully someone I don't know what you know what goes on in someone's head where hey this is fun to make someone feel bad or hey it's fun to hurt somebody I don't I've never understood that. I've always been a very peaceful person. I don't really go out looking for harm or looking to harm someone in any way that like could actually affect them. I mean, I might do it as a joke sometimes with my friends because we all pick on each other as a joke and it's just for shits and gigs. I guess that's just what guys do and stuff, you know, call each other homos. But on, on that note, I mean, I, I don't know where it is, where the line is crossed between when it's bullying and when it's uh, just, I don't know, just... I, when it turns into violence, I guess, is what, you're, what I'm talking about. I mean, the authorities said it could have related to bullying, and if it did, then that would just be sad, because I don't know what shooting... I don't, cause I don't want to make a bad reference right here. If I am wrong, correct me in the comments, but I wanted to say it was the Columbine shooting, or it was because two kids got bullied, and they went and shot out of the school, and that was, that was a really terrible incident, and this one could have been a terrible incident as well if uh, the teacher and the staff member didn't talk down the gunman before... He went on a rampage with a 12 gauge shotgun, and that would have done some heavy damage to a lot of innocent people <laughs> in the school that are just trying to start their lives out and just trying to, I don't know, enjoy the four best years of their lives. <laughs> That's what they say is high school is. So, there, there it is. Uh, there's the, if you want the whole information for what happened, uh, I will post the link with the CNN article that I got this information from. If I mess up on anything, if I made a bad reference or anything, let me know in the comments. I'm, I'm kind of doing this off like straight off the top of my head because I just, I was looking through the news just like right now and I saw this and it just struck somewhere down deep that I was like, I really want to talk about this right now. So I decided I would. <laughs> so if you all, I guess, I don't, I don't really know. I mean, the, the video is kind of winding down. There's still a little bit of part left I can discuss, but I don't really, there's nothing else really to say. I mean, this is a horrible tragedy. Uh, even if it was just, it was almost a horrible tragedy. It's still a tragedy uh, seeing a, a kid come in with a gun wanting to harm somebody. That's that's still terrible to see when someone so young wants to come in and do harm to someone for reasons that are still unknown. But there's still not a reason enough to want to kill somebody. So, that's my opinion. I think needs, I obviously think something needs to be done with bullying. I don't, I don't really have a good solution for it. I don't think backing down from or standing up to them or just leaving, uh, pretending they don't exist. I don't think that that works. So I'm, I don't have any, I think any other advice for it. But I mean, if I did, I would totally give it to y'all. But regardless, whatever. So um, I'll leave the link in the description for the article if you want to go read it for yourselves and see what actually happened. I might not have. I, I kind of read it as I went along and I was kind of spitballing. But if y'all want to read that, it'll be there for y'all to read. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe for more content more real videos and stuff like that. This has been Functions once again. Peace out.